Welcome back everybody. Today on Five Killer Riffs, I want to talk about one of my favorite bands of all time, King's X. King's X are one of those bands where you hear them and you get into them and it feels like nobody else knows about them. But then when you discover somebody who also loves King's X as much as you do, you immediately become buddies. You just kind of bond over it. I remember on the 2013 US tour we did with Ragdoll, we played Goldilocks as part of our set. And without fail, there was at least one member of one of the other bands we were playing with who would come up and go, Oh my God, I can't believe you guys know about King's X. I love King's X so much. And we became best buddies with that guy. So there's probably a bunch of people watching this who saw us on that tour or who hung out with us who are fellow King's X buddies. It's like a kind of secret society. So if you're unfamiliar with King's X though, I wanted to put together these five tracks off their first couple of albums, which I think serve as a great tasting platter for their entire style and for Ty Tabor's riff style. Jeff Ament from Pearl Jam infamously dubbed King's X the godfathers of grunge because they were one of the first heavy rock bands to really make use of drop D and other drop tunings. They had a huge influence on the whole grunge scene. But before we get into that, let's start with a song from their Gretchen Goes to Nebraska album, Over My Head. And for this one, I have enlisted my fellow King's X buddy, Troy Nababan. Troy has produced all of the Ragdoll releases. We're currently tracking another album at his studio, Hammerspace. So I went down to Hammerspace earlier in the week and knocked these out with Troy. He's playing bass and singing on a couple of these. So send Troy some love in the comments. Quick little disclaimer as well, before you all roast us about the sounds of these demos, we actively did not aim to copy Ty Table's guitar sound. We just plugged some stuff in in the studio and had some fun playing guitar. So this is not in any way a tone recreation. Ty's tone is insanely cool. So we're not replicating it. Here's over my head. Such a simple, straightforward piece of rock and roll with just an all-round great performance. I love that song, and it's such a fun riff to play. Again, thanks to Troy for absolutely nailing it on bass and vocals for that little sample there. At the other end of the spectrum, super heavy, groovy, drop tune King's X. I use this riff all the time in my demos. Of course, it's Dogman. Give me a dollar, give me 50 cents, let me take it back, cause that ain't what I meant. And that whole Dogman album is just crushing. Brendan O'Brien's production on it really got the best out of the band. And uh, for me, it's just one of the best rock albums ever made. Cycling back a little bit, the album before that, the self-titled King's X album, has a fantastic song in there called Black Flag. And my buddy Troy, I remember him coming around to my house and hanging out one day and he had just learnt this riff and he was playing and I was like, Dude, what on earth is that? And unfortunately, I'd kind of ignored that self-titled King's X album. I had the first three albums and I had Dogman. And I just, that one had slipped under the radar a little bit. And it's a real grower, that entire album. But my favorite riff on there and my favorite song on there is the song Black Flag. Check it out. There was a black flag on my morning. There was a black flag on my day. There was a black flag. From 
from the same album, I think this is one of the quirkiest guitar riffs of all time, and it kind of sums up Ty Tabor's playing and why I think he's such a great creative rhythm guitar player is the song Lost in Germany. There's so many great sections in this song. There's so many like off-kilter proggy bits, but uh, just sort of the uh, intro riff and the start of the verse, I love jamming on. And again, thanks to Troy for actually showing me how to play this properly because I was totally butchering it. <laughs> To round things out, I want to look at one riff from one of the most epic, just ridiculous performances I've ever heard in my life. It's the song, We Were Born To Be Loved. There are so many riffs in this song. It's almost like just the heaviest funk song ever. And if you haven't heard this, press pause, look up King's X, We Were Born To Be Loved, and have a listen to the ending. It's one of the most ridiculous things I've ever heard, the way they just recycle this riff and mutilate it and twist it. It's so playful, it's so fun, it's so rock and roll, it's awesome. But uh, we'll just focus on one little riff. And if you just kind of want to impress your friends and play a King's X song, play this riff from We Were Born To Be Loved. If you've been following the channel for a while, it's no open secret that my band Ragdoll is heavily influenced by King's X. And it's not the sort of thing where it's like any particular song or musical idea. It's more so the big picture. Obviously, King's X singing bass player who uses bass distortion has a great rock voice. They use a lot of drop tuned riffs with open strings. If you go and listen to some of the Ragdoll stuff, like if you've never checked out this channel before, I would encourage you to do that. Shameless plug. Uh, there's a lot of those elements that have worked their way in there, not consciously. It's just like, for me, when I heard Dogman for the first time, the penny dropped. It's like, you can be in a trio, you can sound heavy, but you can also make use of the space that's inherent in a trio. And you can fill out the sound in different ways. For example, you take the song Rewind Your Mind off our last album, Back to Zero, the chorus riff. <laughs> is straight up to me, that's like a homage to the Dogman era of King's X. The chunky riff using the blues scale, but then some of those droning open strings. And then the pre-chorus in that song. <laughs> And the verse there has more of those kind of Gretchen goes to Nebraska out of the Silent Planet style ideas in there. And for me, like I said, it's not a case of sitting down and just trying to like rip off a particular idea. It's more going for the big picture and the overall vibe. And I just really, really love the way that band is able to simultaneously have this super locked in groovy element to it, but also this big expansive wall of sound. So super influential on what I like to do. Again, shameless plug, if you're a King's X fan, you probably really like the stuff I like with Ragdoll. And part of the reason I wanted to do this entire series, Five Killer Riffs, was to not only showcase some amazing music by some bands you may not have heard, it's to also show you how you can take ideas from your favorite bands and incorporate them into your own style. Because at the end of the day, that's really the beauty of music is taking all your influences and rolling them into your own style. Thanks so much for checking out the video, guys. As always, get in the comments. Let me know what your favorite King's X songs are. A massive thanks to my buddy Troy Nababan for his input on this. When I asked him, hey, do you want to be in this video, Five Killer Riffs, King's X? Uh, the next thing he sent back was the list of five songs we ended up tracking. And he was kind enough to lend his talents playing bass and singing and mixing this. So, Troy, I love you, man. Thanks so much for being part of this 
King's X Riff Fest. As always, if you guys want to support this channel, you can go and check out some of the music that I make with Ragdoll. I swear it's the final shameless plug I'm going to make. And be sure to subscribe and hit like. If you want me to do another King's X Riff video, I really should. Until then, here are some honorable mentions which uh, kind of supplement the riffs that we already did. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. If you want to continue your King's X journey, I would very much recommend it. They're a band that's done so much for me and I would encourage anybody to have a listen to it. Um, Lean asked me to give you some songs to check out just in case you're interested and you want to uh, immediately jump to some stuff. So I'm literally going to just rattle off a bunch of songs. You can find it all on Spotify or YouTube or buy the CDs. It's up to you. So starting from the top, I got two pages. Bam. Far, far away. Out of the silent planet. Mission. Fall on me. Talk to you. Uh, the world around me. Chariot song. Black the sky. Complain. The train. Mississippi moon. Groove machine. Uh, from the later albums as well, there's a couple that I really like. I love the song Jenna. I think the song Down's really good. Um, I don't actually have Come In Mr. Bulbous. It's the only album of theirs I don't own. So you'll have to forgive me for not chucking one of uh, that on my list. Um, Alone from Ogatones and Stay, great songs. Um, Pray and I Just Wanna Live from 15. There you go. I hope you dig it. And uh, hey, find me on Instagram and give me a follow. Mm -hmm.